Well, here it is. Uh, turned up yesterday. It's the new motor for the Clark CL430. It's uh, three phase. Uh, I don't know if that will focus in on that. I might have to, I'll take a photo of that so you can get the full spec. Off there, but it's uh, basically a 0.75 kilowatt, which I think is about horsepower. Uh, model MS2 802-4. Um, it's got a 19mm output shaft and it's a B3 foot mount which is not going to fit on the carriage there on the, the bracket, the mounting bracket so I think the first thing to do will be to take the old motor off with the bracket and what I'll do is to also take some measurements of the where the shaft is relative to the bracket so I can get that one on in the same position which may need a little bit of jiggery pokery i might need to make up some new feet or adapt those or something I haven't quite decided yet but uh yeah first thing to do will be to take this one off so i'll just get a puller on there to take that pulley off get the belt off first once that's off, um, I'll be able to get the motor out and uh, start on a look and see how we're going to do that. Alright, so that's the old pulley removed. And uh, when you take these off, don't forget to undo the grub screw which will be down one of these holes oh, there's one, one each side I think only one had a grub screw in as far as I can remember I think that one was completely yeah that was completely clear so I think it's the one that's opposite the keyway has the grub screw yeah I'll just use one of these basic automotive pullers to get that off on the on the short link there yeah so that came off very easily with that puller i think you'd struggle without so next let's get that motor out and to do that just a case of undoing this nut here take that off so the whole thing will slide forward and knocking that pin out at the bottom there which see my earlier video you know that i uh made this hole here drill that hole when i had this thing stripped down before um, which would just make it easier to knock that pin out and uh don't lose your key out here. Is the other thing? <laughs> I'll take that out. Right, so that's the old motor out. And compared with the new one, um, one of the differences this is a 19mm diameter output shaft. Original is a 16, though that won't matter because I'm going to be using a different pulley anyway, so no problem there. Um, 
and even then I could just bore out the existing one and use that but what I'm going to fit in here is just a single V pulley uh, not the multiple one that was on the old one and the other really noticeable thing is the footprint um, you can see these are, this is the back of a fixing bolts this one the other one bottom one is behind there and you can see that one is much wider a little bit longer which means I'm gonna have to make some kind of adapter bracket or something um, I've got some got some 10 by 40 alley there on a minion bar which I'm thinking I might be able to make some new feet get that in shot new feet I'm fixing feet for the new motor because uh, these just unbolt and uh, I'm probably going to have to put this on a different plane anyway probably going to have to fix it here so this is a, is in with being the same position as on this one the actual box mounting box uh, electrical box rather yeah so that will be the first thing I will have to do um, I'll get this bracket off and get some proper measurements on that and see what we need to do to fit this motor to that bracket Right, just uh, move these pieces down um, so they will fix through these or bolts come through to hold them down that way um, so what I need to do is sit these on here but they're not thick enough to clear so I'll need to make some standoffs to hold them up a little bit well, I'm down there and I want to be up there uh, so I've got some bar here some rally bar just got to decide which diameter I want to use um, yeah I'm not sure whether it needs that thickness or not but I'll turn down some spaces anyway and uh, or some standoffs and um we'll see how that work and you know, i've just got to figure out i'm probably going to have to cut a piece out of the back of this casting to clear the clear the bolts because when that is on there right on this side you can see those bolt holes are right on the edge of the casting So I'm probably going to have to mill some clearance bits in there at some point but I think for now I'll just get some standoffs turned up on the lathe just turned up these standoffs at 10 mil thick uh, so they will sit something like that and these plates will be fixed to them just rest that on there for now so that'll be my um, new feet uh, and then that whole thing will go on this bracket like that that's the plan just got to work out where all my um, all the holes have got to go now so I see these feet need to sit a little bit forward so they're kind of off centre 
Uh, so I need I need 30 mil here to the front of the frame. So they're going to have to go somewhere around there. Yeah, so that'll be the next thing. We're going to where um, where my holes are going to go, and then bolt and everything together. Right, well that's the feet made up, fixed on. I've uh, got these little standoffs under here, and in the end, I decided to use countersink screws rather than trying to um, cut some bits out of here uh, the next thing to do will be the holes for the fixings onto there and that should be roughly in the right place if I line that front up with there should give me the right gap or the right distance to the face of here when I fix it in the in the um, back of the lathe, um, yeah. The only thing I might have to do is just cut a little piece out of there, so this will sit. I don't think that's quite central, so that'll be the next thing to work out exactly where that's got to go. And then, uh, I don't think this casting is very level actually. It's got a little bit of a. I'll have to shim that out. Feels of that. It's got a little bit of wobble in it. Um, I can't think it'll be the mounts on the motor. Yeah, so those holes will be the next thing. Um, those ones will be easy enough. I could transfer punch them, but these ones are going to be a little bit difficult to work out. I'm just going to have to measure them, I guess. Maybe get these ones in and then measure for these ones from there yeah so <clears throat> getting there anyway right. just had to mill a little flat in this rear standoff uh, because it's so close to the fixing bolt which actually holds that to the to the frame. Obviously, these two bolts here are screwed into the screwed into you know, the screw holes there, like these ones. Um, so now I've got these two here drilled in the these two fixings here drilled in the correct position. I can now refix this. To the motor, bolt these up, and then mark somehow. Well, yeah, somehow I've got to mark these rear ones. Uh, yeah, might have been actually better to do them ones first. Think about it. Fix them ones. But then I possibly wouldn't have got that lined up. But anyway, we'll have to see. And that's a little cut out I had to do. For this piece that sticks out yeah so next thing is be fix this back on the motor and uh, work out where these holes have got to go these these I've got to go on the motor right. so mountain bracket is fitted all quite sturdy um, in the end I did want to use allen bolts but in the end I had to use uh, hex head bolts simply because I couldn't get um, an allen um, you know couldn't get an allen tool in there to tighten it up did try sort of making a short one but uh, didn't really work, not in these back ones, just wasn't enough room. Uh, yeah, so I've got these on the end. Um, but it's all on there now. And 
ready to go back in but I think I will do the wiring or this this end first so it'll be easier to do it on the bench I think uh, I also got to remember to set that up to Delta in there I don't think that's uh, I think that's in star at the moment I think that's how they come at standard yeah so getting there I've got uh, a few other bits are turned up I've got the pulley um, it's turned up and I've got most of the switches uh, I think it's only the emergency stop switch I'm waiting for and uh, yeah the bit of um, three phase cable so once that is here I can uh, then fit it on the machine and start wiring up <laughs> 